The locking mechanism of a padlock consists of a plug, driver pins which are connected to springs, the shackle, and the latch. The latch and shackle are also connected to springs. In the plug there are key pins and a stopper which aligns all the key pins to the bottom when the key isn't in the plug. Also, the key pins all differ in height. In order to open the padlock, the plug has to be rotated. When it rotates, the metal piece which is connected to the top of the plug and known as a cam, rotates with the plug. The cam pushes the latch backward and the latch disengages from the notch. Because of the shackle spring, the shackle moves up and the padlock is opened. So, in order to open the padlock, the plug must be rotated. In order to rotate the plug, all the key pins should be aligned to the shear line. When we insert the correct key, all the key pins move and align to the shear line, and there's then no obstacle to prevent the plug from rotating. If we insert a wrong key, the key pins can't be aligned to the shear line and the plug can't be rotated. Among the driver pins, the sixth one holds the plug and prevents the plug from being pulled out when we withdraw the key. When we want to lock the padlock, we don't need the key, we just push the shackle inward. The shackle pushes the latch and finally the latch's edge and shackle notch meet. We hear a click that indicates the shackle and latch have engaged and the padlock is locked. When the padlock is opened in order to prevent the shackle being pulled out completely, there's a second latch mechanism. Thank you.